Escape from Tarkov has just released a brand new update and here's what you need to know about what BSG has added into Escape from Tarkov. The biggest part of this update is the new DLC, The Unheard. Coming with this new update comes a new way to play Tarkov. The Unheard is a DLC addition that brings along PVE and offline progression. Now, this is going to satisfy a lot of people that are wanting that solo player experience, that casual experience that a lot of people have been asking for in Escape from Tarkov. Of course, with the brand new DLC comes a hefty price that a lot of people are going to have to pay to be able to enjoy this new update. The pricing on the Unheard DLC is $250 for new players, but only $100 for people who have Edge of Darkness. That is quite a bit of money to be spending on a DLC, but why is it so much more compared to the Edge of Darkness edition that Tarkov just got rid of? Let me go ahead and break that down for you. First on the list is the new knife. Of course, with every Tarkov DLC, there's always a knife to be added into the game. Secondly, you're going to have enhanced stash space that is going to be 10 by 72. Along with this, you're going to get extra stat boost that is going to help you in your early stages of the white. There's going to be a new lobby background for players to choose from. There is also going to be a new armband, the new Mark of the Unheard device. You also get a distressed signal device, a new player icon, more pocket space. This is going to be a game changer and more starter items, including a weapons case, ammo case, scab junk box, armor, weapons, ammo, and 500 extra thousand rubles. Now, this is a whole lot to take in. Battle State Games has essentially made this pay to win and players are furious over this. However, I'm looking at this and I'm taking a little bit different of an approach to this. Most look at this and they see a pay to win experience. But what I see is for the casual players that have been struggling with quests and have been looking for a solo experience to play without being bombarded by cheaters, chatted players, the works. This also allows for quest progression without having to get into the PVP lobbies and lose your items. Now, granted, you can still die and lose your gear, but the chances of running into a cheater are a lot lot less likely actually completely nullified i mean let's be honest here is <laughs> you're not gonna run into a cheater in pve unless they you know hack the servers or something but that's not gonna happen now with the introduction of pve bsg has introduced a new device called the distressed signal device this device allows you to send up a signal while in raid and any friends who are in your lobby can actually join into your raid to help you out now, it has not been confirmed whether or not this is going to be for PvP or if it's strictly PvE. I'm just trying to math it in my head and the math ain't mathing. The next thing I'm wanting to cover is the Mark of the Unheard device. This device, if you take it into raid, will make it to where any cash services are 50% off. That includes car extract and any in-game traders that you may encounter. This also opens up the opportunity to show that Tarkov is going to be bringing more traders in raid. Another part of this device is any insured equipment that you bring into that raid while carrying that device, you are going to get that back 30% faster if you die. Another thing to mention for my in-game players, while carrying this device in raid, if you encounter any scavs that are over 60 meters away, they will not shoot at you unless you shoot them first. Now, this only applies if you have over six reputation with fence. For the stat boost, this is only going to apply at the start of white. You are going to get level three attention, level three hideout management, level three weapon maintenance, level three bolt action rifles, and level three pistols. This is essentially going to give you an edge in the early game of wipe. Another big change coming with this DLC is the change to pockets. Pockets. Can you imagine that? 
instead of having four single slots, what you're going to have is going to be two singular slots on each side, two vertical one by two slots. This is going to be similar to the idea rig that most of you know. I'm going to show you what the new knife, background, player icon, and armband look like right on the screen as you can see. These look awesome. These are the major changes I wanted to cover regarding the new, the unheard edition of Escape from Tarkov. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Also make sure to leave a thumbs up on the video so that I know you enjoy this type of content. Thank you for watching and I will catch you next time.